Today, we're going to be having a look at some really effective time-saving techniques in Squarespace. This is for the new Fluid Engine, so some of these features are very, very new, and it would be a travesty if you didn't know about them building your own Squarespace website. I've got three shortcuts in total today to run through. One is how we can duplicate a page. You may well know that one already. Then how we can duplicate elements within a page using the new Fluid Engine. And there's also one surprise one. So stick around to the end of this video and that one will save you a huge amount of time. So let's crack on. First of all, we're going to duplicate this page on our new under construction Pixel Haze Academy website. We've got three different sectors, education, business and careers and we need to ideally have the same structure on each section. So I'm going to go to pages, select the page that I want to duplicate. We can see that we've got folders here. What I'm actually going to do first is create a new folder. I change it to your career. We'll see. I've not fully decided on these yet. So I've got a blank placeholder page in here, which isn't doing anything at the moment. So I think what I'm going to do is just get rid of that. And then I'm going to select the innovative education. This is just the Google Chrome extension plugin that we've got. So we can just ignore that. Click on the cog. Duplicate the page. Confirm. And. we name our new page. Click, hold and drag it up into position. And we want to drag it into the folder. Okay, so there seems to be a little bit of a bug there. We'll come back to that in a minute. Might need to do a full browser refresh. But for now, I'm just going to click on edit. I'm not going to change any of the text here, but I'm going to swap out this image by clicking replace here, select from library, and I've already got the image uploaded for that particular section. Just put an alt text description in there for that image. Okay. Now we've got the outline of the page. I'm going to press save. Will it allow me to push it underneath the folder? No, not yet. Just do a full browser refresh. There we go. So I'm not sure what happened there. A little bug in the system. But now we've got our page in the right section. And I'm going to click on edit. So when we duplicate a page, we need to re hook up the form. That's why we saw the red bounding box around it initially. There we go. Because we've duplicated this content, these titles are not applicable for this page. We're going to be changing the images and content accordingly. So what I'm going to do is click, hold and drag over all of these elements and just press the delete button, or I can use the trash can icon here. That removes them in the new fluid engine, which is really good. What I can do now is duplicate the items here. So I can press control D to get this effect. And this duplicate is going to be a huge time saver for you, especially when you're running through content transfer and you're going to be doing this quite a lot. And then finally for the button, if we need that, duplicate that button as well. Okay. So far we've been able to duplicate a page, duplicate blocks which saves a huge amount of time. Just imagine we'd have to set up this image each time, put a different circular frame around each one, then have to choose the right text sizes, etc., for each of these areas. 
One final shortcut, which is going to save even more time for you, is this option where we can select all of these elements and now duplicate them all at the same time. How good is that? A huge step forward from the old style editor where these options weren't available. But we can see now that creating this effect, in fact, I didn't need to do the last steps where I was duplicating them individually. We can literally select the elements that we want and then duplicate them. If you hold down shift, you can deselect elements that you don't want to add. So by having it all selected using the mouse cursor, we can then hold shift to deselect any of the elements that we don't want to duplicate. Simple as that. Once we've got our structure in place, of course, we're going to be going through next and changing all the content on this page. But now at least we have the page structure in place in a short turnaround. I'm becoming a big fan of the new Fluid Engine, and I feel these shortcuts are absolutely key. If you found any other time-saving techniques in Squarespace, leave us a message in the comments section below. Look forward to hearing from you. See you next time.